On this episode of School Bus Talk, I'm going to give five tips to parents whose children ride the school bus. Hi, this is Paul at School Bus Talk. At School Bus Talk, we talk about everything having to do with school bus driving to promote getting kids to and from school safely to support learning. So on this episode of Bus Talk, I'm going to give five tips to parents that have children who ride the school bus. Okay, the first tip is in the morning at pickup, be five minutes early for the scheduled pickup. Uh, Bus drivers try real hard in the morning to be right on time. And usually traffic conditions are light in the morning, uh, but you know, things can happen and there can be delays. Remember, it's a bus stop, not a bus wait. Now, uh, if I see children running to try to get to the bus, uh, you know, I will do my best job to wait. But once I close the doors and turn off the red flashing lights, I have to proceed. Also, if you your bus stop is on a busy thoroughfare or boulevard, uh, the bus cannot wait for the children with the red flashing lights on and backing up tra- traffic. Um, the Also, if you live, uh, especially on a rural route where there's no street lights and it's really dark in the morning, a real good thing to do is to give your child a small flashlight or headlamp and have them turn on that light as they see the school bus approaching. Um, another thing, put the dispatcher's telephone number in your phone. If the bus is 10 to 15 minutes late, call the dispatcher and find out what's going on. On a morning route, the most common reason for delay is a mechanical breakdown of the bus. Okay, so this is a bonus tip to you parents that have children that ride the bus. If you're late for the bus stop in the morning and you're in your car and you see the bus, uh, follow the bus to its next stop. You can flash your headlights maybe, but remember, the bus cannot stop at anywhere but an authorized bus stop to load your child. So don't try to, you know, stop or pull over the bus or if the bus is at a, at a traffic signal, get out of your car and load the bus. Just be patient, follow the bus, and then load your child at the next bus stop. Tip number two, the afternoon drop-off times can vary. Unlike uh, the mornings where there usually isn't too many delays, the afternoons can have a number of different delays. The most common delay is children being tardy loading the school bus at the school site, but there can be traffic conditions, road construction. Also, uh, in my experience, the kids tend to be a little bit more rowdy in the afternoon. So if there's going to be discipline issues on the bus, it's most likely going to be in the afternoon. Remember, if the bus is 10 to 15 minutes late, call the phone number, the dispatcher's phone number, and find out what's going on. Uh, For you parents with kindergartners, uh, in my school district, we can't drop off a kindergartner unless there's an authorized adult there uh, to pick up that child. Uh, So, A really good thing to do is when you sign up uh, your child, your kindergartner, for uh, riding the school bus, uh, list every possible adult in your family unit that might come and pick up uh, your child in the afternoon, uh, whether that's grandparents, uh, aunts and uncles, older siblings, uh, neighbors or other adults and uh, adults or responsible people that are in your family. The driver just wants to get the kids home as quickly and safely as possible. Uh, but if there's an unauthorized adult uh, at the bus stop and the driver doesn't know them, they'll call into dispatch to see if they're on the list of people who can pick up the, uh, the, your child. Uh, If they're not, they're not going to allow the child to disembark. Now, that's not being done to inconvenience the parent or annoy the parent. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in families, and um, the bus driver is just trying to keep the child uh, as safe as possible. Painted on the wall there, it said, be curious, not judgmental. I like that. Thanks, Coach Lasso. 
That's tip number three. Be curious, not judgmental. Uh, if there's a problem with your child on the bus, a uh, disciplinary issue, uh, and there's an incident that happens, remember, there's always two sides to every story. Many parents tend to jump to conclusions and make assumptions. A better approach is to ask questions. So if there's a problem, call the dispatcher or the supervisor on the telephone, ask them some questions about the incident. Now in our school district, we have video on the bus. Uh, if the, you want, the supervisor can go back and check the video and they can see what happened. Remember, a lot of times the children don't tell their parents the whole story. And after the video's checked, it can be kind of embarrassing for a parent who jumped to conclusions only to have to have the supervisor come back and say they reviewed the video and uh, what the bus driver said about the disciplinary issue is correct. Bonus tip for parents whose children ride on the school bus. Don't go on the school bus. Um, in California, where I work, it's against state law for anybody uh, unauthorized to be on the bus. The children, school staff, and the bus driver are the only people that are allowed on the bus. Uh, as a parent, if you need to talk to the bus driver, talk to the bus driver um, from the curb with the doors open, but don't come on the bus. Uh, if you come on the bus, the driver will warn you. Uh, if you refuse to get off the bus, uh, then uh, they'll call 911. Uh, the California Highway Patrol uh, will then investigate the incident and you may be cited. Tip number four, no eating on the bus. Children are messy eaters. It's the bus driver's job to get your child to and from school safely, not clean up their messes. Now, I know it's tough for parents, you know, we got busy lives, and sometimes getting the kids out of the, out of the house in the morning to the bus stop uh, can be difficult. But remember, you can't load them up with toast or smoothies. Now, if I see a child with toast or smoothie uh, trying to get on the bus in the morning with their breakfast, I just have them put it in their backpack and then have them eat it when they get to school. Tip number five, tell your child not to sit in the back of the bus. You will never find more wretched hive of scum and villainy. We must be cautious. Nothing good happens in the back of the bus. Some children are tempted to sit back there, um, but in my experience, it eventually leads to trouble. Kids like to test boundaries. Uh, they think they can push the limits of behavior uh, if they sit in the back of the bus, but remember, Lots of buses have video and eventually uh, misbehavior will catch up with them and lead to trouble. Uh, the bus driver is the captain of the ship and uh, he or she can assign seats. If I have a discipline issue on the bus, I'll move the child uh, up front to sit with me uh, so that I can more closely supervise. Uh, also, sometimes in the afternoons when the kids tend to be a little bit more rowdy, I will not permit children to sit uh, in the rear of the bus. They have to sit forward of the side emergency exits. Also, if you have a child that might be experiencing trouble on the bus, bullying or um, uh, other children on the bus uh, making fun of them or they're having uh, any kind of other interpersonal relationship problems, just uh, have the child um, sit up front with the bus driver, talk to the bus driver about what's, uh, what's happening with your child, and that way the bus driver can more closely supervise the situation. The most common type of trouble on the bus uh, are not wearing seatbelts and eating on the bus. That wraps up this episode of School Bus Talk. Remember, safety is essential.